With a ton of video editors out there and the landscape constantly changing, here's our latest roundup of the best video editing software for Mac right now, including free, paid, and professional to help you decide which is the one for you. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Video editing software updates so fast. So we do a roundup like this every six to 12 months for both Windows and Mac. And every time we go back to the drawing board, we restart all our research and we retest a ton of options to eventually narrow the list down to our top recommendations recommendations for best video editing software across every budget. And as always, there have been some big changes since our last video. Some of my prior recommendations do still make the cut, whereas others have fallen behind and some new options have stepped in to take their place. And just like last time, I'm going to break this down into multiple pricing categories, including free, paid, and more professional software. So you can see what's available at each level. You can hear out our recommendations. And if you're starting one of the lower pricing brackets, then you can know exactly what you'll be unlocking if you do jump to a higher bracket. And once we're done with my recommendations for every price bracket, we're gonna wrap up with three quick tips that you can use to level up your editing and edit faster in any editing software. And while you're watching, make sure to drop a comment down below and let us know what video editing software you're using right now and your number one pick for best video editing software on Mac in 2019. Okay, so here are the pricing categories that we'll be breaking this down into. The first one is free software. The second category is sub $200, so $200 and under. And the third category is for editing software above $200. And just one last thing to be aware of is that each one of these three categories includes all the software that is available to it in that price range. So the free one, obviously, that's just the free stuff, but the sub $200 category includes the free software as well because they are available to you if your budget is under $200. Likewise, with the above $200 category, the best software recommendations in there will actually be across the board, including the sub $200 and free so that you can really see what is the best value for money and which is the best editor for you moving forward. All right, so jumping straight into the first category of free, there are some really solid options now in this space. It wasn't that long ago that all the decent free video editing software had watermarks or big limitations on what you could actually do with it being free. But I do wanna say that no video editing software we are mentioning in this video, especially in the free category, include watermarks. So these are all fully featured video editing programs that you can use with little or no restrictions. And I will cover those off if there are any, but none of them here have watermarks. And in this category, there's even some really professional, really top line video editing software that you can now access for free and get amazing results with them. So in this pricing bracket of free, we've got software like iMovie, Shotcut, HitFilm Express, DaVinci Resolve, Lightworks, and Avid Media Composer first. Now from trying and testing all of those, my top picks in this category come down to iMovie, Shotcut, HitFilm Express, and DaVinci Resolve. iMovie is a solid choice for someone, whether you're an absolute beginner, up to sort of an intermediate level. You can get some great stuff done in there. It's really intuitive. It's really easy to get up to speed editing fast, whether you've got any experience or not. I also think it's a good option for someone who is starting out, who is looking to potentially in the future move into the big brother of that software, Final Cut, because the interfaces are really similar. And if you can master one, the transition to the more professional version is going to be much, much simpler. Shotcut is another solid option. This one is available on both Mac, PC, and Linux, and it is totally open source. There are some really powerful features in here and some good hardware integration as well. But I think the overall complexity and the interface and really getting up to speed with it fast, you're gonna to need to invest some time to be able to really master this. But once you do, then you will be able to get some really amazing results with a lot of professional tools that are in there as well. HitFilm Express is something that will work on both Mac and PC. And this isn't just video editing software. It's also got a heap of advanced special effects and motion graphics tools built into it as well. So if you're someone who's looking for all of that advanced functionality and having it all in one program, then it is a solid solution for that. 
Now, while it is free, there is a more professional version, which we will cover a little later on, that unlocks a heap of extra functionality and a heap of more advanced controls and features. But know also that you do have the option just to pay and unlock certain features depending on what it is that you're after. So they have an awesome library of add-ons that you can unlock just paying for the ones that you need for the videos that you're creating. And DaVinci Resolve is hands down in this category, the most professional video editing software. What they give you in here for free is just insane. Like the people literally use this to edit and color grade films and documentaries and it's free. Now, as an absolute beginner, the interface and all the features and everything in this definitely would be overwhelming. You're also gonna need a fairly decent computer to be able to run this because it's got so much power and performance that it would draw from your computer. But again, this is professional video editing software and it's just insane that it's free. Now from all of these on the shortlist, if I had to pick a winner in this category, it is gonna go hands down to DaVinci Resolve. It's just amazing what you get access to for free. And again, the power and the performance and what you can do in there is just insane. Now I'd say the close runner up though would have to go to iMovie, especially if you're on the entry level or on the beginner end of things. But even if you are on that intermediate level as well, you can still get great results using iMovie. Next up, we're jumping to the sub $200 category. So this is all software, both free and paid up to the value of $200. So generally, what you'll typically find with paid software versus the free software is that you're unlocking more features, more control, more advanced professional level tools to help you have more control over your edit. And I do say generally because there's counter examples like DaVinci Resolve, which give you access to all of that stuff in totally free software. But for the most part, when you pay for software, you're gonna unlock a heap of extra functionality and a heap of extra features. So in this category then of sub $200 video editing software on Mac, we're adding in things like Filmora, Adobe Premiere Rush, Mov AVI, WeVideo, ScreenFlow, Adobe Premiere Elements 2019, Filmora Pro, and Lightworks Pro. So now once again, after testing all of those out, put together a short list. Now this short list is quite a bit different to the previous times we've created this video. There are two main programs that are no longer on the short list, and they are ScreenFlow and Adobe Premiere Elements. 2019. Now, while these two are still decent video editing programs, you can get great results with them. They haven't updated enough or much, especially now given some of the other options that are there. So the shortlist then for this category and opening it up to the free options as well, the shortlist is WeVideo, iMovie, Filmora, Adobe Rush, Filmora Pro, and once again, DaVinci Resolve. So in regards to the new options in this category, WeVideo is an amazing video editing tool that is actually run in the cloud, meaning that you just log into it through your web browser and all the processing and all the calculations and stuff are actually done on their end. So you just access it all through your web browser, which means that you can use a really low powered computer like a Chromebook or an absolute beast of a machine and still get great results. It works really well even if you're gonna be editing things like 4K or really high quality videos with multiple layers of 4K footage. And because it's all run through the cloud, it means that it is so powerful for working with teams and collaborating with people anywhere in the world. In regards to pricing, they have plans starting at $4.99 per month, which will limit you to 720p videos. Up from that, they have a $7.99 per month plan, which unlocks up to 4K resolutions. And they've also got plans for $17.99 and $29.99 per month. They give you things like unlimited storage, multiple users or team members, and access to their stock library of images, video, and music. Filmora is another really awesome solution for video editing on Mac, but there's also a PC version of this one as well. This is one of the standouts that has come a long way in a short amount of time. Not that long ago, we would never consider mentioning Filmora as a solution or as an option for someone for video editing. It was more of a toy or a gimmick, whereas now it is a decent option. And yes, it's on our shortlist. Filmora is a great solution for someone, whether you're an absolute beginner right through to internet intermediate because of the amount of features in there. But it's not something that's overwhelming. It's actually pretty intuitive to get up to speed and to learn where everything is. And you do have more features and control over everything than you do in something like 
iMovie. Now, if you are someone who is looking for some of those more advanced features and control, then they've also got the Pro version, Filmora Pro, which I'll get to in just a second. But you can purchase Filmora for just $59.99, and that gives you lifetime access. So there's no monthly subscription. That's a one-time fee. Adobe Premiere Rush is the next one on our shortlist, which again is one of the new additions in this category. This option is one of my personal favorites, and I do think this is an app to watch or a program to watch moving forward, because what they're doing is really changing the game when it comes to video editing. Now where this sits in Adobe's world, they've obviously got Adobe Premiere Pro, which is their top professional level software. They've also got Adobe Premiere Elements, which is the one that didn't quite make the shortlist. And then they've got Adobe Premiere Rush. So this one is missing some of the features from Elements, but at the same time, it brings in a whole new set of features as well. The standout feature with Rush is that this is the first video editing application or program that works cross device and cross platform, meaning that you can install this on anything, on your Android device, on your iPhone, on your iPad, on your Mac or PC. You can use it on all of them and you can literally start a project on your phone and you can continue editing and working on your edit from there and you can jump over then to your Mac or your PC and you can seamlessly continue the edit from there. And if you are someone who's looking for that upgrade path to Adobe Premiere Pro, the professional one, you can actually open up your Adobe Premiere Rush files inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and finish them on there if you want all the advanced tools down the track. But if you are interested in a full editing walkthrough using Adobe Premiere Rush, I'll put a link up in the cards to our video now. Now, Adobe Premiere Rush is going to cost you $9.99 per month. It is a subscription service. Or if you've already got a license to Adobe Premiere Pro, then you get access to Adobe Premiere Rush for free. And that brings us to Filmora Pro. Now, this is just like Filmora, one that I didn't think that I would be adding into top video editing software video. But Filmora Pro is actually amazing. In the Pro version, they have added in so many tools and features and things from professional level video editing software. Yes, the Pro name gives it away, but how Pro is Pro? No, 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 this thing kind of looks like Adobe Premiere Pro. It handles really, really well, and it is a fraction of the cost. Now, I have to admit that while I was downloading it, I really didn't have high hopes for it. My expectations were pretty low but I was totally blown away when I opened it with all the professional feature set, things like all the waveforms, things like the color grading and the color tools, amazing. But what really blew me away was the power and the performance in the timeline when you're editing 4K footage and multiple layers of 4K footage. This thing was up there with Final Cut in regards to smoothness of playback and smoothness of scrubbing through the timeline. This was better timeline performance than even what we were getting in DaVinci Resolve. So I really think that Filmora Pro is a solid contender and a solid option for someone looking for professional level video editing software. Whether you are even a beginner, you could easily jump into here and get up to speed, but also knowing that you've got a lot of those professional tools and, and a whole heap of advanced controls and everything at your fingertips tips, this is a solid option. So in regards to pricing, you can get Filmora Pro on a subscription for $89.99 per year, or you can buy lifetime access for $149.99. Okay, so rounding out the category of best video editing software on Mac 2019 under $200, this is what it looks like. When it comes to cloud or an online video editing solution, it goes hands down to WeVideo. If you're an absolute beginner through to an intermediate level, you should be looking at iMovie, Filmora, or Adobe Premiere Rush. Or if you're someone who is on the intermediate to advanced side of things, or you wanna get up to speed and learn a lot of the pro level tools, you're gonna be looking at Filmora Pro or DaVinci Resolve. But as for the winner or my top recommendation that I would pick in this category, it once again goes hands down to DaVinci Resolve. The amount of features, the amount of control and everything in there, it's just insane. The power and the performance that you have, is next level and the price tag of free is pretty hard to beat. But it definitely doesn't have that level of ease of use or a super simple interface that you would find with the pro level tools like in Filmora Pro. Okay, so moving now to the final category, $200 plus video editing software. And as we've said, to help you make your decision as to which is the best video editing software in that pricing bracket, if you're looking to spend money on software, we've also included the sub $200 and the free options as well so you can see how they stack up. But generally, once again, what you would find in this higher tier pricing bracket is 
access to the most professional applications, the most amount of features and the most amount of control you have over your editing projects. And really these are the tools that the professionals use. So in this pricing bracket, we've got software options like Avid Media Composer, Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve Studio, Final Cut Pro, Camtasia, and HitFilm Pro. And from once again, testing and using all of these, my top picks on my short list goes to Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve Studio. So Adobe Premiere Pro these days is almost like a household name. When you're thinking of video editing software, most people have probably heard of Premiere or Premiere Pro. And that's because it really is a solid option. It's got amazing integration with the rest of the Adobe apps or the Adobe suite. So if you're gonna be using things like After Effects or Audio, Audition or even Photoshop and integrating those elements into your videos, the integration is second to none. It's got a great range of hardware support and it works on both Mac and PC. And it's actually really easy to transfer your projects and to work between both, which we've had to do on a few projects. One of the biggest features I like about Adobe Premiere Pro is how you can easily work with external editors and team members and collaborate on your projects. Yes, a lot of the other options out there too have collaboration tools and features and those sorts of things, but my personal favorite for that kind of workflow definitely goes to Adobe Premiere Pro. And really, that is one of the deciding factors that we look at when we're starting an editing project. Are we going to be working with extra editors or extra team? And will they need access to this project? And if so, it pretty much goes straight away to Premiere and we'll be working on that entire project in Premiere because of that. Now, in regards to pricing, it is a subscription-based model. It will cost you $20.99 per month for a license to Adobe Premiere Pro, or you can also pick it up in the master bundle for $52.99, which will give you access to all of the other Adobe programs as well. So next up is Final Cut, which is an amazing option for video editing software on Mac. It is my current go-to for most video editing projects purely based on how fast it is. The way that Apple has got the software optimized so well to work with the hardware just makes everything so fast. For a lot of the videos that we work on, the render times are almost zero. Literally, we'll hit export and the upload will just start because the rendering process has already taken place. But not only just on the rendering side, the actual timeline performance and scrubbing through 4K footage and multiple layers of 4K footage with effects and everything applied is pretty much second to none given how fast and how smooth everything is. Now while there are great add-ons and plugins and things that you can get for Final Cut, there's probably a lot more for Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, but I wouldn't say that that's a deal breaker either. Now in regards to pricing, this one is a one-time purchase. It is not a subscription or a monthly fee. This is a one-time purchase of $299 and that gives you updates for life. Like literally, I bought this thing years ago, there's still updates coming through and haven't had to pay any more. And then there's DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is the top version of DaVinci Resolve. So this is where you've got access to higher frame rates, higher video resolutions above 4K, a whole heap of extra professional grade effects and control and functionality that gets unlocked with this version. One of the standout features with DaVinci Resolve is the color grading capabilities and tools that you have over color correcting and color grading your videos. This is industry standard software. This is what they use on professional grade films and documentaries and things to color grade. But even more so than that, it's grown a lot from that. And now it is a complete studio of not just color tools, but also editing tools. And now also sound production and sound tools in there as well. And the studio version, the paid version, unlocks all of that. So in regards to pricing then, DaVinci Resolve Studio sells for $299. Again, not a subscription, this is a one-time purchase. So to round all of this out of best video editing software on Mac 2019, at essentially any price point, whether it's free right up to the most expensive level, this is what it looks like. If you're looking for video editing software to edit in the cloud, to easily work remotely with Teams, or to edit on a really low powered computer in your web browser, then that hands down goes to WeVideo. If you're someone who is an absolute beginner right up to say an intermediate level, this is where you'll wanna check out iMovie, Filmora, or Adobe Premiere Rush. Now for someone who is on the intermediate to advanced level or someone who is looking for the most amount of control, the most amount of features and really the professional tools, then that's where you've really got four options. You've got DaVinci Resolve, 
the free one. You've got DaVinci Resolve Studio, the paid one that unlocks all of those extra features. You've got Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got Final Cut. Now really at this point, if you're comparing these, what I would strongly recommend is that you're grabbing the trial versions of each of them and that you're giving them a go and seeing which ones resonate with you, which one you can get up to speed easiest, which one is the most logical for you to be able to edit your videos down. I really want you to think of these as just a tool to get the job done. These are all just tools to help you edit your videos. Some of them are going to be much easier for you, depending on your skill set and your requirements, and also the types of videos that you're going to be creating. But if I personally had to pick one winner out of this category, right now it's gonna to go to Final Cut Pro. That is my current go-to for any video editing, as I said, where I'm not working with team or external editors. To me, the power and the performance that you have not just in the rendering but also in the timeline and how fast and how smooth everything is is just amazing and that to me is important without necessarily having access to all of the color grading tools and things that you have in things like DaVinci. All right, so I know that's a lot to take in, but earlier in this video, I did say that I would also share my top three tips to help you edit faster in any software. So here they are. Tip number one is to always focus on editing down your content first. I see so many people jump into their editing applications and start color grading and adding effects and all of these sorts of things without cutting down their content first. That's gonna add more strain to your editing software and to your computer because it's gotta process all of those effects while you're doing the simple task of just cutting and removing pieces that you're not ever going to use in your edit. The other reason that you wanna focus on your content first is to make sure that you've actually got everything you need there to be able to tell that story or to be able to make that video. There's no point color grading and adding all these effects and everything on if there's something wrong with your footage or you don't even have enough there to tell the story. So focus on the content first. Tip number two is to learn the keyboard shortcuts. Now these are gonna be different depending on which editing software you're using, but in most cases you can either find a list of the keyboard shortcuts inside the help area on your application, or you can just do a quick Google search for video editing application name and keyboard shortcuts and you'll be able to find them. Now there's two standout keyboard shortcuts that you should look for no matter what software you're using and they are ripple edit left and ripple edit right, or it might also be called trim top and trim tail. You'll thank me later. And tip number three is to go through all of your options and settings inside your editing application to make sure that you've got everything set up for best performance, to get all of that extra power and performance out of your computer. Because by default, there is a lot of programs out there that don't have things like GPU or video card rendering enabled. And some of them even limit the amount of CPU cores or the amount of RAM that that video editing software has access to. So it's a great idea to run through the options or the settings that are available to you but also while you're in there, you might be able to customize or personalize some of the settings in there to tailor them up for you. Now, those were just three tips from our full video editing process guide, the Primal Video Method. You can grab your free copy on screen now and also linked below in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.